Special effects don't have to be that hard to create. We can do many things very basically right inside Premiere Pro, just like this awesome glitch effect you're seeing right now. So how do we do that? Let's get started. What's up guys, it's Jordy here for Cinecom.net and welcome to another awesome Premiere Pro tutorial. This time we're going to create this glitch effect and you know what, it's actually very simple to create. So without further ado, let's just get started. What I'm gonna do is delete the current sequences so that we can start from a blank page. And the first thing that I wanna do is create a new sequence and I'm just going to call this glitch effect and uh, press OK and then just drag in my clip right inside that timeline. So as we've seen in the glitch effect, the different channels, the RGB were actually separated. So that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to separate the red, green and blue channel from this video clip. So I'm going to head over to my effects library and I'm going to search for the RGB and we should find somewhere here, RGB color balance and drag that onto your clip. And right here you can see that currently red, green and blue all set at 100%. And if we're going to disable one of these channels by just uh, setting them on a value of zero, you will see that we only have the green and the blue channel active now. So if we would only have one of these channels active, you will see that we only have that particular color. So what we are going to do now is actually make a duplication of this layer here, and each of those layers will have its own channel active. So hold down your Alt key and drag your clip to channel number two. And do that one more time, hold down your Alt key and drag that clip another time to channel number three. And that way we make a duplication of it. And also now we have it on three different channels. So for the second clip here, what we're gonna do now is uh, put, for example, green on 100%, and uh, we're going to put blue on zero. And then for the final one, the clip here on top, we're going to make the red channel 100% and the blue one on zero. So now we have a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel in our timeline. Now, in order to slide these channels apart, we first need to blend them together somehow. And that's done from the opacity. So just start by selecting your uh, layer on top and go to your opacity here and select for the blend mode screen. And do the exact same thing for the second one here. Also put that one on screen. And so now all those three channels are now blended again together to a normal image. But the great thing now is, for example, when I'm going to take one of these channels, it doesn't matter which one, for example, the one below, and I'm going to head over to my position here and my motion property, and I'm going to offset that, look what happens. Now I can take these channels apart, and by doing this, we can create that awesome glitch effect. So let's just get started by doing that. I'm going to reset this for a moment, because we're going to find a certain point in time where we want that glitch effect to take place, for example, right here. And what I'm gonna do is create a keyframe for that, for the position, and if you like, you can also create a keyframe for the scale, or also the rotation, anything you like here. Then just move one frame forward by pressing the arrow key and then just offset that position. There we go, perhaps increase the scale a bit. There we go. And then one frame forward and we're going to move that to a different spot. And we're going to keep doing this for about 10 frames or something. Now if you are on the final end, you would like to have the default position back. So just reset that value and it will create a new keyframe for that as well. So now if we're going to play this, you will see that the first channel here, which is the blue channel, it's going to be glitchy because we've animated like that. There we go. Now the effect isn't that great yet because we're going to do the exact same thing for the other channels as well. But uh, here's the deal, guys. I know that you are just super lazy. I mean, let's just admit it. So that's why I've taken the time and actually created a preset of all of this so that you can just uh, drag and drop to create these keyframes. So let me just show you how to use that preset because uh, that's going to save you a lot of time. Right click in your presets folder right here in the effects library and say import presets. And right here you can find that glitch effect by Cinecom and uh, you can download this just for free from the card somewhere up here. You can also find a link to it in the description below and then just press open. That will import that preset and uh, inside your presets folder you will find right here glitch effect Cinecom.net. And uh, right here, we can find four presets and three of them are the blue, green and red channel. And they all go on one of these layers. So there's actually nothing that you have to do, but you know how the process works now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete the color balance here for um, all of these layers because uh, 
and also delete the keyframes here because I'm just going to drag in the presets on those layers. So it doesn't matter where each preset goes to, just uh, drag them to one of these layers. So red goes there, then we've got green, and then finally we've got blue. There we go. And uh, well, that's it. I'm gonna play this and you can see that the effect is taking place pretty awesome. So what I've done is just animated the position and scale for all of them. Some of them I've even played with the uh, anchor point here as well uh, and the rotation here in one of those layers just to add something different to it. But further than that, it's nothing more. It will just save you a lot of time. But we aren't done yet. You know, this glitch is not yet there where it should be. So let's fine tune that a bit more. And also for that, I've got a preset, by the way, you lazy guys. So what you wanna do is select all of your layers in here, right click in your timeline and go to nest. What we're going to do is put everything in a group. So actually, put them in a new sequence and we're going to put that sequence into a sequence and that is called nesting or sequenceception. So just call this anything you like, um, let's just call it the effect, you know. There we go, press okay. And as you can see now, we've got the sequence that we've just created, the nested sequence inside that sequence. And what you wanna do now is actually play a bit with the colors. Go to your Lumetri tools and play around with the exposure, for example, make it a bit darker, add more contrast, perhaps, you know, add a bunch more saturation to it. This is really up to you. Something that you just like to create to give it some more glitchiness look. Also for the sharpen, I, I do suggest here to bring that down, give a bit more softer look because of all the glitching, increase the vibrance perhaps, you know, saturation. It really doesn't matter what you do here, just make sure that the glitch looks extra glitchy. And perhaps if you like, you can add an extra position and scale animation to it. Uh, if you think that the scale is not enough, you can add some extra more to it. So just enable that right here. Go a bit further in time. Let's scale it up a bit more and scale it down again when the glitch effect is over. So now the glitch pulls more towards the viewer, which is exactly that we want. Now also for your Lumetri, you do want to animate that as well. And uh, we're going to go to all the settings that we've changed in here. And that are to start with the basic corrections and uh, let me just locate that, the exposure, the contrast, the highlights. No, it didn't touch the highlights, saturation, and so on. And uh, for the creative tab right here, I've uh, changed the values of the sharpen and also the saturation here and the vibrance. And I actually want to move them somewhere to the middle. So where the glitch is uh, totally glitching out in the middle, you know, the biggest part. So just move those keyframes to the middle. Also for the creative here, all, all of them. There we go. In the beginning of it, you know, this... Uh, Scale here is a good reference as well. We're going to reset all of these values here so that it's back at default. So just reset your entire Lumetri effect like that and that will just create a bunch of keyframes back to default, but it will animate to the values that you've set, as you can see. And then on the final end, we do would like to fade out again. So we're going to do the exact same thing on the end. Just make sure to reset that, that value again and that will bring it back to normal. Now, it doesn't matter that these aren't lined up so perfectly. As you can see, we are faded out, but the glitch effect is still taking a bit of place. But you know, it's a glitch, so it doesn't really matter that everything is uh, set so perfectly. As you can see, the effect looks pretty awesome. And you can always still just grab these keyframes and move them a bit to the side if you believe that they are not really positioned in time or anything like that. Now, like I was saying before, I also have a preset for that final step. And uh, let me just show you that to you. I'm going to delete the Lumetri effect. Right here, you can find also the final glitch. And that's the one you just have to drag on top of your nested sequence. And uh, if you do so, you will see that, uh, that bang, everything is uh, automated. So again, folks, this project file and presets are completely free to download. You can find a link to it in the description below and also from the cart up there somewhere in the right upper corner. If you have any more questions, just pop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.